What up everybody, Kevin Nguyen, also known as Yakuza Barber, wall educator. Today I'm gonna to do a flat top with a mid skin fade. And if you're trying to achieve this look right here, stick around. To start off the flat top, especially for afro type of hair, you definitely want to do both the sides, clear up the canvas, that way you see your demarcation line along the line a little better. Starting off this haircut, I will use my Magic Clip Cordless Metal Edition. The one and a half attachment that I comb on, deep looking all around the prior ridge. Never close. Now I want to open my lever all the way and start freehanding it, kind of sculpting it and shaping it up into the higher area. Now, depending on the growth pattern of the hair, I would do the one and a half open down with the grain to make a smoother transition along this line. Now, when you cut it with the grain, it's a little better because when you're attacking darker areas, it doesn't take off as much hair.
Now to make my demarcation line, I want to do a mid fade and how I determine what's a mid fade is by doing finger lengths in between the hair and the scalp. So if I do a one finger length, that's a low fade. Two finger length, mid, three is a high. So what I want to do is mid, right there. Using my mag trimmers, I will imprint the line, make my demarcation line right around here. Good thing about the mag trimmers is that it's not zero gap, meaning I can imprint this line on and it won't be a harsh line. It'll be a soft line. That way, when I fade up the hair later with the clipper, it'll be a lot easier. Going back to my metal magic clip cordless, I will use the lever open and set in a guideline one finger length above this previous line. That way I'm not taking it too high. Now, opening the lever halfway, or closing it halfway, I will start attacking this line right below. And if I see the faint line in the trimmer area, I will now close the clipper all the way using the corners only and flicking out around that trimmer line. Now with my one attachment guide comb on, I will use the lever close all the way 
and apply light pressure to knock off this top line right here. And after that, I will open all the way and raise that line a little higher. Now attaching my half attachment guide comb on, I will start detailing the dark areas right above up here. The goal that I'm trying to achieve is creating a seamless blend. Now how I do that is by applying light pressure or heavy pressure along these dark areas. Let me show you. Now my goal is to create a seamless blend. And you always want to develop that eye and be very picky about your blend. And the smoother transition, the better the haircut will be. So how you do that is, when you're watching your wall educators, always pay attention to the flick of their wrist and how gentle they're establishing their lines all the way through the haircut. Now using the 5 star finale shaver, I will apply light pressure around the lower areas and try not to create too much of a harsh line, more soft guidelines, that way it's easier to blend into the top hair. When I'm tacking the dark areas, I want to go down with the grain, with the shaver. That way it won't place a harsh line for me.
Okay, so if you were here watching the first segment, I will use the same step I used in the first segment all the way across to this side now. So if you missed out, replay the video.
Now to focus on this fade a little more, especially around the occipital bone area, you always want to focus on blending below the bone or above the bone, not necessarily at it because it will still be a dark shade there. So always focus on going around that area. Now for the lineup area, the front lineup, I will start debulking the area with a one and a half close going with the grain, taking down the bulk some. That way it's lighter for me and clearing it up more. That way I see the lineup a little better for myself. Now going upwards, cutting against the grain on the dark areas. To create a sharp, crispy lineup, I would use my cordless detailers LI and the goal is to make this as straight as possible and how you do that is I would get some powder apply it on the blade of the trimmer and now imprint it onto the lineup with the trimmer turned off and what that does is it creates a guideline for you for you to see and match up as you go before you even start the lineup Now for the side bars, I will align it with whatever teeth this landed on right here, connect it to this opposite side, right over here. Just be careful with the eyebrows, you can always stretch it down a little bit and then imprint your line.
Now I'll pick out the sides and use the metal magic clip cordless lever close. Now you definitely want to use something with a flat blade on this technique where we're going to start sculpting and shaping the flat top now. Now be very careful because around this area, the top of the bridle ridge, it's very crucial that you don't dig in too much. So you always want to leave a finger in front of that clipper and the blade and start sculpting with a safety guide. Now for the top of the hair, you definitely want to pick it out to the fullest length. And after you do that, I will use the clipper close and go straight across, getting all the straggly hairs that I don't like and that's not making it as flat as possible out of the way. And here's the final look of the flat top with a mid skin fade. <laughs> 